actually, by today, there is a plugin for um, AutoCAD from yeah, the ePrint and Share by HP that helps me to generate the PDF file right away. Well, why are we using PDF files and why don't we send the DVG file right away? The point is that an AutoCAD file has basically uh, an enormous amount of information like line weights, like colors, like fonts, which easily can get lost when you just send out uh, an original AutoCAD file. So instead of that, we use the more secure opportunity, which is to use a PDF. So we generate the PDF, which takes a couple of seconds, and then we just need to go to the ePrint and Share folder, and uh, you see that basically I can choose one of the files, which is this one here. I want to, to actually get uh, the signature from a customer that we can go on building that to say that we propose to him. So I, I choose this, um, this file. I just go, and now comes the magic part. I go to share, and then I can just send out this file onto the cloud. Here, you know, either one uh, needs to review this file here. This is his email address. I can preview actually what I'm sending out, which is really practical, so I don't confuse it with other plans. And then I just keep on share. And this goes onto the cloud. Talking about the cloud, I think that's a very important and very exciting development for, especially for us architects. We have to move a, a, a lot around. I'm basically two days a week on a plane, and I need to uh, access this information everywhere as fast as possible so that I can continue working with my office also from the distance. So now I send this out. You see, it's, it's getting sent out to, to Vito. It's going to receive it in, in, in a second. And then we can continue printing it out and, and uh, getting the signature from our customer so that it is actually um, approved. So one more second and then it's on. All right. Thank you, Matthias. And uh, indeed, you know, fire the cloud all the way from Austin to uh, Shanghai. I found it here on my uh, Apple iPhone. And yes. let me go to the user panel because, you know, fire the cloud it came via the ePIN and share application, this PDF file, to the printer. Let me push ePIN and share. Here we go. I have to put my personal code, of course. Here we go. And here we are, the print file Guido by Matthias. I open it. Here's the file, the PDF. And I can push the print button. And of course, start. And here we go, we are printing. Obviously, if you want to preview the print first, in the upper right corner, there is this opportunity to preview. You can enlarge it and navigate through it whether it is the correct print file. Indeed, magic, I would say, with you. So let me have a look at the, uh, at the print file. Here it is. All the way from Austin, this the revisions um, as produced by the architectural office, but they need to be approved. They need to be signed off. And for that, you know, I would like to call forward my boss, uh, John, to put your initials to um, Tetris. And let me see where is the pen. Here we go. John, if you could sign off. It is uh, quite an expensive revision, though, uh, John. I hope that you are aware oh, yeah, that's that's of that. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. So here we go. Here we have the signed copy of the revision. And let me put it into the scanner and send it back to the Austrian office so that people can proceed. Uh, while it is scanning, I would like to tell you something about the scanning uh, uh, opportunities with the machine. You have to know that I'm, I'm from Vienna, in Vienna have a lot of old structures. About 50% of our jobs are remodeling of old, old structures. And we have a lot of old plants made from the 19th century and 18th century and so on. And we need to get them into the computer. So that the, the critical possibility in this case is that you just scan it in, this old plan, and there's a, uh, a vectorized software included that actually transforms the, the, the scan into vectors. So you can have your plans right away on the computer and continue with the workflow as fast as possible. I think that is really one of the biggest profits that we can get from this machine. It's not only about the, the speed of printing, it's basically about the speed of process, optimizing the process and streamlining the entire, the entire design. Which means at the end of the day, if you save time, days of time, we can actually get, get, get this time and put it into the creative, the creative part of the design and increase the quality for our customers. 
All right, then, scan. Yes, uh, as we are you know, finishing the scan and it's being sent, you know, let me take this opportunity to go back to my normal role as um, VP for the graphic arts business, Asia Pacific.